up to Spices Gap, uh, which has uh, a few historical uh, significances about it, and then we're going to then step up to Cuttingham's Gap. Yeah. So Spices Gap's got uh, a couple of places called Governor's Chair, Moss, Moss Well, Moss as Well. Yeah, and the Pioneer Cemetery. Yeah. Okay, we've made it with the uh, magic of uh, movies. We're here. <laughs> this is the Spices Gap uh, Road. So they say it's a four by four uh, road only, but I have seen two by two, uh, two wheel drive cars come up here. It's not the best road. There is a couple of washouts, but we've seen people come up here in, in two wheel drive cars. So, and uh, it's a road that they actually cut off when it's. Uh, really really wet because uh, one it'll just tear the road to pieces and two it gets pretty slippery and the reason we're doing this is because uh, we've been up the spices a few times before but we've never actually done a YouTube on it so we thought for people that never been up here it's um, it's not too far from Brisbane and it's also uh, got some nice historical little spots but there's a little camping area up here if you want to go camping and also uh, it's got uh, a few good lookouts. Governor's Chair is a really good lookout. Overlooks Mugger Dam and a few other places. And uh, Moss as well, and uh, which we'll go through anyway. But yeah, so if you ever want to just zip up here and there's a barbecue area, uh, probably best just to bring your own little gas barbecue if you've got it, because the, the barbecue area up here is just like a, a slab of metal and then, uh, you know, it's not, not the most hygienic thing. But just bring a little gas, mate, and there's a, some tables up here and that. Uh, there's toilets up here too. Drop down toilets that Susie loves. <laughs> Not. Not. <laughs> we're at the first part. This is a Spices Gap camping area. So we're going to do it on the way up, these bits. So we'll just show you the camping ground. Uh, and they have uh, graded the road right up, which is bloody great. <laughs> so fuel stoves and elevated braziers 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 it sounds like a braziers a bra bra brazier like is a bra sounds like a bra yeah sounds like a, bra. <laughs> a brazier is a yeah. type of fire pit so someone's here camping. just to clarify they're set up they look they look fantastic and they're all set <laughs> up for camping looking good so this is a little camping area so uh it's uh you just uh, self-register it's not very big it's probably about eight or ten um camping spots here but uh, it's a nice little spot uh, you have to bring everything up here there's no water here I don't think and uh, they've got toilets as I said and uh, it's uh, yeah it's, it's cute there's a few bush wa uh, bush walking tracks around and uh, yeah so as I said not very big that's it So just on the left here is your drop down toilets, so uh, people that haven't, haven't got a phobia to big holes going down to the ground should be right. Like me. Yeah, it's like Susie, yeah, she's, she's a worry. And there's the self-registering uh, thing, get your thing and register there I guess. Rangers would come up and check I presume. And uh, yeah, so it's not a bad little sight. A hard speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings okay. So here we are heading down towards the Pioneer Graves To the left here, these are those um, picnic tables So like I said, the barbecues aren't that fantastic They're just a bit of an old grate So I, don't, I wouldn't be cooking off them uh, But it's nice here It's uh, this is only a little walk, it's about 130 metres down to the uh, monument. And um, Sue's can probably fill you in a bit more with that. The Pioneer Graves Monument marks the location where up to 13 people perished during construction of the road and when travelling through. Most of these people are unknown, however accidents, appendicitis and fever are among some of the reported fatal causes. It's a sombre and isolated location and it really hits home the sacrifices our early pioneers made to open up the trade between the Darling Downs and Moreton Bay. I think it's sad too because um, 
they're unknown. So really they've died now and um, yeah. no one even knows who they were. And it's such a significant part of history, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, the, the back build, then, building yeah. of the roads back. Building yeah. of the roads and the trade. So well, the few, it's funny, like one little flower at the front. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect little flower, that one. It yeah. is a gorgeous little flower yeah. and it's just growing there. i could take a photo of that one because that, that that's a nice little, that is a that top is a flower. That is a beautiful little flower. It's a very nice flower. I'll give you a pat. Very nice little fella you are. You can't fall down there. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. I open the lid and it's like a great big long drop all the way. Yeah. Lucky, oh. lucky for the motorhome toilet, eh? Yeah, well, that's what I can't wait for when we get the motorhome. At least I've got my own toilet. But, oh, look you know, at this snake. Look at this little beauty. Huh. Petrified. That's a... Uh, one of Head, those headless snake. Bark back. Yeah, snakes. bark back. But he, someone's taking his head off. Poor bugger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're heading away from the Pioneer Graves. And, and Susie, Susie wouldn't use the toilet. I so chickened it out. Look, I, I, honestly, look, I, I lifted the lid and. <laughs> there's the, a drop the, down the toilet. It just scared the actual crap out of me. So if anyone Nearly, out there's got like a, um, a toilet phobia, can you. Explain how you got over it to Susie because uh, it's going to be a long trip around the motorhome if uh, every drop down toilet is unsuitable. I'm seriously having my doubts whether <laughs> I can actually do it. I'm... So the next spot we're going to is Mosswell. Moss as well, or Mosswell. Uh, along here, there used to be um, inns and taverns and that along here. Yeah, well, wasn't there supposed to be the remnants of no, one somewhere? No, they all got burnt down because they? they were made oh. of wood. Over the year, many years, there's been probably a, several bushfires through here, and, and that was the end of that. So there oh, is, they say, there shame, is um, a lot of um, bottles from the inn because obviously they just got thrown out the back or thrown into the bush or wherever, mm. and they're still turning up old uh, bottles, like you know from that yeah. era. Mm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to find like an old bottle or something, but anyway. Wow, wouldn't it? So. Yeah. So this is the old road that uh, basically took them up to the gap. Yeah, over the Great Dividing Range. Uh, over the range. Great Dividing Range, yeah. So this is Moss as well. So this is where they used to pull up and uh, and uh, get the horses and yeah. the cattle and that. It was also the water supply oh, the water for, for the... Um, the people who were working on the road. Yeah, that's right, it was too, um, yeah. Yeah, so we'll just pop in and have a look. Yeah, so. so it was a natural spring that was discovered by... Uh, moss. Moss. Yeah. He was, yeah. So let's name it after ourselves. <laughs> As they did. Yeah, oh well. He found it. Well, it's been running for a fair while now, so... Last time yeah, we came it was time. very, very small, but it looks, it looks so cool too. Yeah. Just continual running water. It's actually a well that's been dug down. Been, um, yeah. And because this is a natural spring, this was actually the source of all the trouble that they had building the road. Yes, that's um, right. They, they said it was quite wet. It looks really cool too because the uh, sun's just filtering through it and it's just a little natural spring. It's trickling down through here. You'd have to be really happy being a plant around here. Or a bird. Or a bird, yeah. yeah. It's lovely. And it's not a fast, like it's just trickling away there. It's natural. Water coming from wherever. It seems so funny too because uh, we're up fairly high here, which you'll see when we get the governor's chair, and uh, you wonder where this water comes from, because <laughs> we are very high. Uh, we're, we're good probably 750 metres above sea level. Anyway, 
Yeah, so that's, that's it, Moss That's Moss well. well. Governor's chair, look out. And gee, they're not mucking about with the, the uh, signage, are they? Yeah, I want to say no, no free fall diving, darling. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know you just like to get carried away sometimes, but you're going to do some <laughs> vertical takeoffs with your parachute. No. <laughs> not today, okay? Not today, Robbo. Yeah. Not today. All right. After you, sir. Oh, okay. I'm going first, am I? Yep. Oh, oh come on. Let's go. Well, this will last about three seconds. <laughs> Governor who? Okay, there were, apparently there were several people who actually sat on this chair. Uh, it wasn't just the one. So that's how I like there. Governor General Sir Charles Fitzroy, Governor Sir George Bowen. Yeah. So there's two of them anyway. Yeah. So it's about 150 metres up here. Mm -hmm. And then it's uh, about 150 to 200 metre drop if you go too far. So, <laughs> last time we came up here, we actually saw a big Gwana sitting where the governor's chair was. So, I left him alone. <laughs> <laughs> he was about three foot. He was. And big. I thought, nah, you can sit there today, mate. I saw that. <laughs> that was quick. That was a green snake. It was a little green greeny. Yep. Yep, yep. He was quick. I don't know who got more of a scare. Yeah, you know, you're him. going first. Here, you take the camera. <laughs> I'll take the camera. <laughs> oh my god. So he was in there. He's made a move. He's gone. <laughs> Sorry about the swearing, people. <laughs> Whoa. You'll have to edit that one out. You know, I have a little faith. <laughs> oh. He's just sitting there. The poor bug was sitting there sunning himself. And Caesar comes along and annoys him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get him on camera? Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. I think anyway, so. little, little greeny. Oh, anyway, my God. I've been handed the uh, camera now. Jesus. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Welcome God. to the Australian bush, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, back to where we were. Okay, a bit of a shame because this is uh, oh, yeah. been graffitied, which is a shame. Okay. Well, we'll give you a rough idea. But this looks like. So here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the view. Magnificent. And over there's Lake Mulgara Dam. Straight ahead of us. Is Governor's Chair. So this is where the governors of Queensland came and sat. So we can't go any further because I'll do this and show you. About 150 metre drop down there, so no more steps, but this is where they sat on this rock. Uh, coming up Spices Gap and this is the view they would add so it's a beautiful uh, breezy day today it's not too hot but if you just imagine them sitting here around a hundred years ago and overlooking this come on Susie what are you doing let's move it <laughs> <laughs> ah. right. I think we're getting there Road. 
McAdam. He was one of the engineers on the road and he worked out in some of the really um, hard places where uh, it was wet and steep rather than using the logs for the road. He worked out how to um, uh, build the, the road out of stones and then uh, packing by packing smaller stones around them. So that's uh, why they called it McAdamizing the road. Which we call paving now, I think. Well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, with this, uh, there's not much of it left, but uh, we never know. There's like there stones are like this. So underneath this ground. A few rocks here. Yeah. yeah. And the reason that they um, of the existing road you used to be able to uh, four wheel drive through here or here, good. but yeah, they yeah. stopped people driving up here because it was destroying what was left of this uh, cobble road yeah. or stone road. Yeah. There's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of leaf litter and stuff here, but apparently like some of these rocks you can also see, see the uh, the tool marks. Yeah, it'd be nice to see some of those. I mean that's that's something there, but you wouldn't know. That's like a... Yeah. Yeah, so it's all, uh, it's all compacted to yeah. basically handle the areas that were really sloppy. Yeah, good on these guys for, for doing what they did. The pioneers, hey. There's the gap. So there's Cunningham's Gap. That's where the big mob of kangaroos went charging through In the Aboriginal mountain. dream yeah. time. Aboriginal dream time. Yep. Old lady left the gate open. And that's what happens. And that's what happens when you leave the gate open. Yep. Right, up the top of this is Cunningham's Gap. There's like a little uh, car park and we're just going to walk out uh, on this, uh, I think it's about a 1.6 kilometre um, uh, track out to the uh, to a little lookout or rainforest walk, so we're going to do that. But she's steep. Yeah, so coming up here, the old truck shit. The, they they're working, they work hard because it's she's a steep. Even the chimney's working. Gives you an idea. The chimney works anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little chimney works even on the flat. Yeah, it does too. <laughs> Only get up to a hundred with a good tailwind. <laughs> So this is Cunningham's Gap. There's the uh, monument there. Wow. And uh, there's a turn, or, turn off here, I think up here somewhere, where we've got to turn off the road. So it's got to figure out how to do it. Here it is here. All right. Oh. So this is, gets us Car into part's the pretty park. full. Yeah, she is full. Oops. Lucky we're only a little Jimmy. Yeah. Might not even get in yet. <laughs> Oops. This could be a bit hard. Thank, thank goodness for little Jimmy's, eh? Look at that, yeah. we were able to squeeze in. The car park is absolutely chockers. Uh, we could have probably parked across the road down there. Yeah. But, uh, no. But. You wouldn't even know. Just sneak in there. Look at him. So, we're at the top of the uh, Cunningham's Gap. So, we're going to uh, go out and do this uh, rainforest walk. How far is it? Uh, 1.6 uh, return, I think it's map here. So we're going to do the rainforest uh, circuit, which is just that. So we've done a little loop and this is uh, overlooking the Fassifern Valley. So this is uh, growing areas do, they grow carrots and things down there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's Lake Mugara over there uh, from a different angle. So we saw it from spices. So this is actually uh, all the mountains out there, Mount Edwards, Mount French, Mount Alfred, Mount Gravel, Mount Moon and Mount Moraine. So they're all obviously uh, Volcanoes, ex volcanoes, I should say. So that's the view from here. Susie thought we were actually looking at the Darling Downs, but that's uh, over near the Toowoomba oh, area. Yeah, I thought we were going to go and look. Uh, Toowoomba's in a completely different The other side again. of the range. No, anyway. that's that's Toowoomba range. This is Cunningham's Gap. Oh. So this is the Great Dividing Range. So, yep. Yeah, but. Yeah, sorry, wrong. <laughs> wrong city. <laughs> sorry. 
So we're coming back down um, from the little walk at Cunningham's Gap. This is the monument which has been closed due to construction, but that's, um, I guess, marking the point. We saw it as we were heading up in the, in the car, um, but marking the point, I guess, where they crossed over. On the way home, we stopped in at Arachula for a pie and a coffee. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Next week, we head to O'Reilly's in the Lamington National Park. We do a treetop walk and we talk about the amazing rescue of two survivors of the Stinson plane crash.